Ngombe walioibiwa kuelekea eneo bunge la Tiati imesababisha watu wawili kupoteza maisha yao. Wasichana ambao wako katika shule ya upili ya Kobuluo, kidato cha tatu mwingine akiwa darasa la saba la msingi la Kabetwa. Haya yanajiri siku moja baada ya gavana wa Elgeyo Marakwet na mashirika ya usalama katika eneo hilo kuzindua ndege isiyo na rubani ili kuhakikisha kusaidia kukabiliana na ukosefu wa usalama kwenye ukanda wa Kerio. Mawaji hayo yamezua chuki upya miongoni mwa jamii hizo mbili ambazo zilikuwa na amani katika eneo hilo. Katika tukio sawiana hilo kaunti ya Marsabit eneo la Ileret inadaiwa kuwa jamii ya dasa na achili washambulia wafugaji wa gabra huko Kokai watoto watatu wamedhibitishwa kufariki haya yanajiri siku moja baada ya mkutano wa amani na viongozi wa pande zote mbili kukutana It is as a group for two days we had a peace meeting between the dasa and the gobra committee to have been for the last one and a half years mm. We wanted to resolve uh, this long standing conflict so that uh, what we are kind of majority bila shida yote waweze kutumia maji na malisho. Mm. Unfortunately, uh, for the second day after we just concluded the meeting, mm. uh, Gabra had us were raided by the death notch. Mm -hmm. Two, three young children, one of uh, between eight and nine years, another one eleven, and a girl of fourteen years were killed. Mm -hmm. Uh, about 2000 uh, ship and goods were taken away. <laughs> Mheshimiwa Warioguyo kutoka eneo bunge la Hor Kusini alikutana na maafisa wa juu wa usalama kutoka Ethiopia katika juhudi za kuleta uwiano baina ya jamii hizi mbili kufuatia shambulio la jana katika eneo la Kokai. Hii ni kufuatia bala njaa pamoja na ukosefu wa lishe upande wa garba ambayo imepelekea kutafuta lishe maeneo ya Ileret ambayo ni ngome ya Dasanach. Lord Gabra had us because of the drought. Yes. They moved into Ileret ward because uh, because of the long drought there's no pasture water uh, in North Hor uh, ward. Yes. It's very dry but there's been some light showers in Ileret. Hmm. So pastors now the such a pastor and water they moved into Ileret. Mm. So that the able to utilize the available pasture and water resources. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately and we knew that you know when they come closer anything can happen. Mm. Because there's a long standing conflict between these two communities which has been which has lasted over 135 years. Mm. But now We said we need to really solve this this problem because we cannot live like this into the 21st century. Mheshimiwa Warioguyo yuko katika eneo la Ileret kujaribu kufanya mazungumzo na juhudi za uokoaji wa mbuzi walioibiwa. Kufikia sasa idadi ya mbuzi 232 wameokolewa kutoka kwa mikono ya wezi wa mifugo eneo la Ileret. So far have you recovered any stolen stock? So far we've recovered 309 mm. sheep and goat mm. which is now in our custody mm. so, and we are planning to take it back to the Gabra Hadas probably the handing over could be done tomorrow mm. but uh, that will not to stop uh, them from collecting more and more so mm. they still continue with the recovery process. Do you think this uh, is a politically castigated move or uh, is just a natural problem? Uh, uh, for this one at least we don't feel that the political is castigated. Mm. But this one is purely related to the climate change mm. and uh, limited resources. Rais William Ruto alikuwa ametoa onyo kali kwa majambazi na wezi wa mifugo lakini imeonekana onyo hii haisikila muadhini wala mteka maji katika asasi za usalama nchini. Nikiripotia Runinga ya Ebru. Mimi